hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to see how to containerize our spring boot application using docker okay so let's get started so previously we had made this crud app simple crud app using spring boot so i will just run the application to show you so you can see started crud application on port 8080 okay so let's go to my postman so just type here local host colon 8080 slash and in your controller you can see have the prefix called students over here students let's click send so you can see we've got the status of 200 but it is empty because we have no data in the table so let's create the student record over there so let's just copy that same thing and paste it over here change it to post method and we'll just confirm our url post mapping store and uh, postman slash store go to the body say raw select json let's hit the send button and you can see it has been created and you got this click on get you have got this thing right so our local application is working without any container or docker for now it is just running on our local machine so now i will just stop this okay and just go to your root directory inside the app you just create a new file file called docker file make sure the d is in uppercase and we are not going to give it any extension so if you want you can install the docker plugin i'll just click on install okay so you can view the containers images over here that's one advantage for now we'll just keep that aside and here let's start with the docker file so the first command is going to be from open jdk colon so you can just check your java version over here so ours is 19 right so we'll just give 19 over here jdk and then here you are going to specify the jar file so for now we don't have the jar file over here i will show you how you can create the jar file you can see this in the right side right you have a maven and here you have lifecycle so first you have to run the maven clean command so if you have already generated any files over here that will be removed from here and then you can once this is done you can say maven install you can run this command also over here mvn run install mvn run clean anyhow or whichever you prefer and we'll just wait for this to download its dependencies okay so over here in your target you can see you have two jar files okay and this is the name of your project if you want to give it a custom name you can give it in your pom.xml okay let me just show you how you can do that scroll to the bottom of the page and just before the build you can say final name and say crud app and just update this maven yeah once done just close it and we'll just do the same thing again maven clean so all these things are gone yeah and now install so now you can just open your target and you can see you have the crudapp.jar and one jar.original so we are going to use this .jar file so over here just say copy and it is inside the target folder right say target slash 
macrodap.jar copy this to the current directory and then we are going to use the expose and expose the port 8080 and here we are going to finally run the application using the entry point keyword entry point close this say java hyphen jar let's put this in double quotes hyphen jar and then your jar file name okay so you can just copy that from here so our docker file is ready just save and open your terminal over here and first i'll just open my docker and show you you can see i have no containers over here and images you can see there are no images so let's build an image first docker build hyphen t and then specify your image name over here so i'll say crud image and then the dot so that is for the current directory okay so it will search for the docker file over there hit enter and it will create the image for you so here you can see your image is created you can verify this from here images you can see how the crud image also you can use the docker ps command and check your containers so for the image it was docker images yeah so you can see you have it over here crud image now we are going to run a container using this image okay so for creating a container you have to write this command docker run and you have to do the port forwarding so for that you need to give this hyphen p and let me say i will forward it to 8090 the port which is originally 8080 in the docker environment so you can keep this same like you can keep it 8080 colon 8080 but to show you the difference i'm just putting it to 90 over here and yeah your port forwarding is done so now we have to specify the image name so our image name was crud image okay and then you can hit enter let's say allow access there is some issue over here let's scroll up Yeah, over here you can see the last packet was sent JDBC. Okay, MySQL communications link failure. So this is because our MySQL database is not there and it is looking for this. Uh, where is it? Inside your SRC main resources application dot properties. So we have given this right localhost 3306. So it is not able to find anything like this in the docker environment so for this we need to create a docker container for the mysql separately in our docker 